Okay, so let's set the scene. For anyone who hasn't been following the news out of New York, what exactly is going on and what's at stake here? So the New York Assembly is considering a bill that would essentially ban digital asset mining in the state of New York. It's a moratorium, and they're debating that bill today. This, if it passes, would make New York the first state in the country to ban blockchain technology infrastructure. So how real is the concern for energy use by proof-of-work mines specifically in New York State? So the transition to sustainable energy is an important mandate for New Yorkers, and that is where the energy for this bill has come from. However, we believe that Bitcoin mining uh, and proof-of-work mining has the potential to lead the global transition to more sustainable energy. And as you may know, in the state of New York, they have recently passed what's called the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act to aggressively fight climate change. Now, the Bitcoin mining industry is actually leading in terms of compliance with that act, in terms of all energy industries. Um, the, the sustainable energy mix of the global Bitcoin mining industry today is estimated to be just under 60% globally. Now, for the Chamber of Digital Commerce, for our members that are mining in the state of New York, we estimate that that number is closer to 80% today, an 80% sustainable electricity mix. So if, the, if New York, if their mandate this is the question I have. <laughs> if they're looking to move towards climate neutrality, which they are, why would the assembly single out this one small but growing and promising industry of digital assets that is leading in terms of sustainable industry practices? So there absolutely are political motives behind this bill and more understanding needs to be done before a flat out moratorium is passed into law. Now, regardless of the bill's passage, what impacts will this type of legislation have on New York's ability to compete in the crypto industry? Will it, for example, cause talent to flee the state or avoid it altogether? This would have dire consequences for the digital asset ecosystem and the state of New York. Uh, and remember, making the United States a global leader in blockchain technology was a mandate set by President Biden. He just signed an executive order into law, setting out a process to do just that. And this bill would be contrary to that. Further, blockchain has been added to the list of critical and emerging technologies in the United States. Coming back specifically to the state of New York, Bitcoin mining operations are providing great jobs for local communities. Uh, one of our members, their average pay is $80,000 a, a year. Uh, there are many unions, labor unions, who are against this bill because it could have dire economic consequences. But more importantly, it has the potential to stifle the transition to more sustainable industry practices. Now, New York is often a leader in these types of legislation. We saw House Democrats call on the EPA to investigate the environmental impacts of crypto mining just last week. Do you expect more of these bills to pop up in states or even nationally? That is absolutely our concern. New York is absolutely a leader when it comes to state legislation, which is why we have a team on the ground fighting against this bill to make sure this doesn't lead to a copycat issue where you have other states following suit. Uh, we are encouraging members to look at the data. For example, in 2020, just uh, uh, last year, proof of work digital asset mining was estimated to use 188 terawatts of power. That's about 0.1% of global energy consumption, a tenth of a percent. So what would this bill actually do to reduce emissions? It would not put a dent in it. Uh, but the bigger issue is that it could potentially stifle innovation and investments into renewable energy, which the Bitcoin mining industry is leading. So right now, the U.S. is the number one mining destination by a mile with respect to Bitcoin mining specifically. But if these types of bills take hold, what does that mean for its status as a mining leader? You know, where do these companies and experts go next? Bitcoin miners are incentivized to go where the electricity is cheapest, which is why there is such a high concentration of renewable energy used to mine Bitcoin today. If the 
if the United States, if more states followed suit and had an aggressive stance against proof of work mining, this at the end of the day is a, a digital ecosystem and it will move where it is most welcome. Mining is the infrastructure to blockchains. And I cannot stress how critical it is that these operations for national security and economic security reasons are happening on U.S. soil. We should be embracing this technology. Um, and just one further point, the Assembly has already passed a bill that would conduct a study on proof-of-work blockchains uh, and mining operations and its impact in the state of New York. The stakes are super high. This is a new and emerging ecosystem. We should understand it first. Let's, let's support this bill that would create a study. Let's conduct the study, understand its findings, and then take action, not just push forward for a moratorium without fully un understanding its consequences. Last question, what are the scenarios for how today plays out? So today, the um, the Committee on Ways and Means is debating this bill. Now, over the past several days, the public, um, citizens of New York, the residents of New York, companies of New York, unions, labor unions, advocates have been in Albany uh, creating a lot of awareness to how dire the consequences of this legislation would be. And that impact is really resonating with members. So it's scheduled for a debate. And at this point in time, it could go either way. Uh, if debate moves forward, it, it's very likely that it will be put forward for a vote in the Committee of Ways and Means today. Um, based on the intelligence that we have from our team on the ground in Albany, it is likely to pass. Uh, if it passes out of committee, it would then move forward uh, for a, a full assembly vote. And then it still has to pass the Senate and it still has to be signed into law by the governor.